Hello everyone, welcome to another soap making video. My name is Tamika and this is the Soap Throne. Today I am making another oldie but goodie, Tobacco Bay. So this is a very special soap. I have trouble choosing men's fragrances and this fragrance was chosen by Brian and the name of it is Tobacco and Bay Leaf. Now while I call the soap Tobacco Bay, I'm actually not naming it after the um, fragrance. I actually tried to think of, okay, so what do I think of when I think of tobacco and bay leaf? And I think of the Caribbean. And so I went searching online for a place in the Caribbean and there's actually a tobacco bay. So I went with that. But anyway, so because Brian chose this fragrance, I will be using this to help to fundraise. As many of you know, he is facing some pretty serious health challenges right now. And I will um, use this to fundraise to help to support him through this journey. Since this is the soap that he chose or the fragrance that he chose. And it's actually really popular. So I am going to begin by telling you what else I'll be using. So you saw the fragrance from Brambleberry. But I'm also going to be using some green chrome oxide. Normally I would use French green clay. But... I seem to be out of it right now so I'm gonna substitute this but I'm just going to use a teensy 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 bit because I want the color to be pretty pale and then for my favorite brown which will also be pale I'm going to use cocoa powder and again I'm making a bigger batch it's so popular people keep asking for it I already have an order for it now so we are going to do the 10 pound and so I'll be pulling out my mold again my little post office box mold that I'm sure you all love but to begin I'm going to start by adding some kale and clay to the mixture to the oil mixture and I also want to say that in the oil mixture I have some chamomile infused olive oil yes chamomile infused olive oil and um, that's something that you're going to see me doing more of this year is adding um, infused oils and different herbs and botanicals to the soaps. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get this mixed in. So you might or might not remember from me doing this in the past, but this will be a four layer soap. So my approach to this one is to divide both the oils and the lye solution which is right here and that's a little bit of um tuss of silk you see floating there but i divide it into actually um threes so i'll do three even layers but the middle layer will be divided into two but the portions there or the proportions there are like third thirds all right so i'm gonna go ahead and get these oils and the lye solution measured off and I will be back. Okay, so we are back with our first layer. I guess I should have mentioned two before in case you've never seen this before. These first two layers as I am pouring in this lye solution, I'll explain. The first layer or the bottom layer is colorless and only those two middle layers have the green and the brown. So this one will have no color. All right, so now that we have blended that a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and add the appropriate amount of the fragrance oil to this. Okay, so it looks like these layers are not going to be as straight as I'm accustomed to them being. Or actually, I don't know, this seems to be thinning it up a little bit because we do want these lines to be as straight as we can possibly get them. Yeah, it's interesting adjusting to making these bigger batches because this was not an issue before when I made the soap. It behaved very well in the smaller batch. All right, so I've got my handy dandy post office box right here and we're going to pour this directly into it. Rape out 
the bow. This is such a nice fragrance, everyone, and it lasts so long. Almost there. And then I will shimmy and shake and bounce and pound this little box to get this layer as flat as possible. All right, everyone, I am back for my second layer, which will be my choco choco layer, my chocolate layer. And these colors I prefer to be pretty pale. So I'm only gonna start with just a wee bit in the oil. And then I'm going to hand stir And of course, once I add the lye and stick blend, I'll see closer to what it's really gonna be. That's about right, but I'm gonna add just a wee bit more. And I'm going to stop there. All right. And with that, this time, because I see how this is reacting, I'm going to go ahead and add my fragrance oil now and hand stir so that I don't have to do the double blending and make it even thicker. And followed by this, I'm going to add my lye solution and begin by hand stirring as well. Just a few quick blends here should do it. <laughs> this back over. And actually, now that I'm looking at it, I would still like more chocolate. So I'm going to go ahead and hand stir some more in here. Because that's not really looking chocolatey to me. It's looking kind of weird, really. There we go. That's more like it. I know it's interesting. Still gonna add just a tap bit more. I know it's interesting, but yeah, that once you put the stick blender in, it does make a difference as far as color is concerned. That right there is perfect. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. This one is thinner than the last one, fortunately. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in. I'm pouring from kind of high up, and I don't wanna rake that layer at all. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and scrape this out, put this aside, get ready for the next layer, and I'll be back. Okay, everyone. I am back with my third layer. This one will be the green layer. So, again, I'm going to start by putting in my fragrance oil. We're going to start by adding just a smidge of the green, like I said before, because... I want it to be fairly pale and that might be enough right there yes I think it will be so I'm gonna stop there and wait again until after I have stick blended it and see how it responds and now for the lye solution Alright everyone, we are back for the cut and I'm going to apologize because I forgot to delete an app from my phone and I ran out of space so I realized afterwards that the phone hadn't recorded for some time. So we're back before the cutting. As you can see we have the layers, these two natural colors and then we have the brown and you can probably see the green though this is you know really faded and you can see that the edges are kind of warped and everything from using the box and lining it not so great with plastic and um, um, then the parchment paper but that's okay we'll fix all this stuff later so the first thing I'm going to do is split the logs Whoa, <laughs> was not expecting that to happen. Okay, let me finish pushing this one through. All 
All right. Yeah. Oh, yes. Lovely. I like the way it turned out on the inside. So you can see those lines still got straighter than I expected, so I'm happy about that. The second layer, or second row. Again. have it all right everyone we are back for the cutting again one more look this is the way it looks on the side so eventually I will be getting a mold to do three of these so I make sure I take off enough to get all of that I did I am just getting in from a long drive from work. It's been a long day. But a good day. Can't complain. So I'm only going to do a few of these because they're all going to look the same. As you can see, I just cut my glove. Yeah, so tonight I'm going to just cut these up. I will wait till tomorrow or the next day to do a better job cleaning them up. And then I will try to put some pictures at the end. But if not, forgive me. <laughs> I think you're getting a pretty good picture of what they look like. All right, everyone. So I want to thank you again for joining me. If you have not already, please consider subscribing to this channel. Love to have you here. And go ahead and give it a thumbs up while you're at it. And if you'd like to receive notifications, you can hit the bell icon and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. That's the idea anyway. I have heard of some instances, and it's happened with me it seems, where people don't necessarily receive the notification. I'm not sure what that's about, but for the most part, you will be notified. All right, everyone, have a good evening. And until the next time, I hope that you are happy and I hope that you are well, and I will see you then. Ciao.